know this season, but a colossal match between first and second today that could play a pivotal role in the title race. We'll have every kick of the ball for you live on EA TV. Hello everyone and a warm welcome to the Riverside Stadium. My name is Derek Ray, positioned here on the commentary gantry and sitting next to me, ready to give you all the analysis, is Stuart Robson. And we're on the cusp of bringing you live action from one of the most exciting leagues in Europe, the Championship. It's Middlesbrough up against Watford. Thanks, Derek. Well, often we talk about the tactics, the individual players, players that are missing, but so often it's the mentality of the players that is key to winning any football game. Which of these teams has the right attitude today is the big question. A look at the starting 11 for Middlesbrough. Well, it's a 4-3-3 formation with a centre forward and two wingers. So it's important that the midfield players give support to the striker whenever the ball goes wide. They can't allow him to be isolated. And the starting 11 for Watford. Well, they're playing in a 4-5-1 formation, which is set up to counter-attack at pace. Yes, they'll play with a flat midfield out of possession, but when they win the ball back, they'll break forward really quickly. Let's hope they play it well today. Thank you for attending today's game at the Riverside Stadium. Enjoy the match. And so the match is underway. And a textbook interception. This attack looks highly promising. Well, tremendous block. <laughs> Trying to pick out a teammate. Well, they're going to be very cross with themselves because that was a wasted opportunity. Chowdhury, Balji, Imran Lusa. Oh, breezing past him. It has to be. Last man back and job done. Having won the ball back, they might be able to profit. Imran Lusa. Kayembe. It should be! Well, he tried to place that one, and given his proximity to the goal, he's bound to be disappointed. Looks promising out wide. And possibilities here. Fine tackle there to prevent the chance. Well, pressing really high.
Aaron's. Well, I'll tell you what, that didn't miss by much. And the referee takes exception to the challenge. Free kick. There's been so much speculation in terms of whether the transfer would go ahead, but it will go ahead, Stuart. Yeah, I like the look of him. I think it's a good move for both him and the club. Let's hope he makes an impact fairly quickly. Well, they've given him too much space. He's got to have a go here. Ramsey! Wonderful to have that in your repertoire. Well, here's the replay, and just look at his reaction to the initial shot. He's so sharp, he deserves that goal. So the ball rolling again with the scoreline standing at 1-0. And he did well to cut it out. A really committed challenge and it's gone out for a throw-in. And he stopped them in their tracks. Plenty of support here. Well, nothing comes of it. It looked promising. Seymour. Well, he keeps going. And the referee blows for a foul. Now delivering that deep cross. It's a corner. <laughs> Playing it short. comes to nothing in the end really should have made more of that well I believe there's been a goal in the Birmingham City match here with the details is Alex Scott it's a goal for Coventry City they're the best and a goal to increase their advantage to two overall. That little bit of a cushion. Now it's all about keeping the concentration. So underway again, and a 2-0 advantage here. Lusa. Joao Pedro. Moving the ball forward with purpose. But they dealt with the threat first. Well, the stats show us that the hosts haven't had that much of the ball. But when they have won it back in midfield areas, their counter-attacking has been excellent. They'll be happy with the way the game's going at the moment. And just receiving news of a goal in the Blackburn match, Alex Scott, what can you tell us? It's a goal for Blackburn Rovers. The score's level again now at 1-1 with 32 minutes played. Many thanks, Alex. Well, that's how to dispossess your opponent.
Excellent use of the ball as they make their way forward. Giles. It's a neat move. Let's fly here. Well, he didn't miss by an awful lot. Imran Lusa might really be able to trouble them here well they've won the ball back quickly he must finish and thwarting his opponent in the nick of time And the short option preferred. A meaty but fair challenge, and it will be a throw-in. Options in the middle. It might be on for them. Chowdhury could pull one back here. Couldn't grab hold of it. On a time for composure on the ball. And the referee is going to add on four added minutes. And he might be through here. Well, the attack finally comes to nothing, and the keeper has it. An alert intervention. Plenty of support here. Oh, big chance! And it goes! A three-goal cushion! This is astonishing stuff! Well, let's see this again. The vision to play this through ball is superb, and his movement so clever. Once he gets onto it, there's only one thought in his head. Smash it as hard as possible. What a good goal. Well, you've got to say, an incredible first-half performance. That scoreline tells you all you need to know. And there it is. The half-time whistle is sounded. No doubt about it, the home fans will be the happier of the two, Stuart. Well, we talked about their scoring record at the start of the game, and it's been the same old story today. Far too strong, far too dynamic for their opponents, and clinical when they've had the chances too. I just can't see there being a response, if I'm honest. So the second half underway after what was a sumptuous first half showing from Borough. A running room in the wide position. Oh, surely. Oh, terrific piece of goalkeeping. Who can he pick out? A goal! And I'll tell you what, on this sort of form, very few would lay a glove on them. Well, here you can see it again. It's a superb cross, just asking for someone to go and meet it. And it's a comfortable finish in the end, which is made to look so easy. It's a lovely goal. Sided contest, 4 0. Chowdhury. Ken Sima. Clean challenge. 
Well, news coming through of a penalty in one of the other matches, and Alex Scott can fill us in. Yeah, Birmingham awarded the penalty. He made it look so simple and easy, straight into the bottom corner. It's now one all with 51 minutes played. Alex, thank you very much. And a wonderful diving save to deny the opportunity. And they're making a change. And deciding to go short with this one. Not a chance for them again to play it over from the corner flag. And there's the delivery, and an effective clearance. Showing a lot of guile there. Oh yes, a goal! Exactly what they were looking for, and he's come up with it. Well, let's look at this again. To pick out this pass shows wonderful vision. It's inch perfect. And then through on goal, he just goes for power and smashes it past the keeper. There's no stopping that. What a great finish. Goals in plentiful supply. 4-1 currently. Ryan Giles, Thomas, could be threatening, shown inside, a gift for any goalkeeper. 30 minutes to go then, Joao Pedro, well a last ditch challenge. But there's always an element of risk about it, and we wonder what the referee is going to do next. Well, under those circumstances, any referee would really be put to the test, and in this case, a booking steward. Well, it's a difficult decision, but I'm with the ref here. No red card for me. Substitution for Watford. Now, they're going to alter things. Here's the substitution. To be replaced by number eight, Vicencio Somerville. Well, as you can see, what a strike from distance this is. It's a stunning goal, but really the keeper shouldn't be beaten from there. So the current scoreline, 4-2. 26, Darrell Lenningham, coming onto the pitch, number 6, Dale Foy. Might be dangerous. A goal! Another one! It's turning into an absolute demolition job. Well, here it is again, and it's really poor defending. They just don't show enough urgency to get tight or make a block, which is why the ball's ended up in the back of their net. So on they go again, and Borough beginning to run away with this. Ryan Giles.
Good technique displayed. Oh, keeper dealt with it. Well, they are committed to making the substitution here. Played over. Well, he had a lot of ground to cover. Splendid save. And still dangerous. The crossbar got in the way. Well, they survived the attack. Well, how did that not go in? It was a great effort, you have to say. Well, more championship action for you to look forward to on EA TV. It's Middlesbrough taking on Rotherham United. I like the look of that game. The atmosphere is always good inside that stadium. And two... Now, hold on, Stuart. They're in here. This is a Well, here it is again. The through ball is absolutely inch perfect, while the movement in the box is equal to it. It's such good timing. What a goal. Fifteen minutes left for play. Number 13, Mario Vrancic. Coming onto the pitch. Ciao, Dori. Tommy Smith. Imran Lusa. Another perfect position to read it. Well, this really ought to be a championship game to savour. It's live on EA TV. It's Watford taking on Birmingham City. I'm really looking forward to that. Two entertaining teams in what should be a really feisty affair. Promising sequence. Can he do it? A goal! We're really being spoiled. This is attacking football at its finest. Well, here's another look, and you can see what a good finish this is. He holds off the defender brilliantly and keeps his composure. That's a great goal. It's a massive lead, and it's very hard to imagine them losing it now. Giles Watford unable to hang on to the ball well, they've given him too much space a well, fine reading of the situation skipping away Well, the seconds are ticking away, and the home side in control. Stuart, what have you made of this? Well, what an excellent performance this has been. They've had complete control for most of the game. Oh, They're... the chance is on, Stuart. Oh, and a penalty awarded. Spot kick coming up. Well, no card handed out. He gets away with a rebuke. What well, a lot of referees would have booked him there. But I'm with him on this one. No yellow card for me. And they will make the change now. Right over for now, it seems. The high press was very much on.
Really vital interception. Spot on with that tackle. Well, the keeper has outdone himself. Wonderful save. And there it is, a goal. But will it be purely a consolation at this stage of the proceedings? They haven't been at the best. Well, as the replay shows, this is all about his ability to find space in the box, which then makes the finish look so much easier. That's good play from him. Well, if you enjoy high-scoring contests, this has been the game for you. Corner kick played in. Oh, no end product. Really vital. And there goes the final whistle. And the home fans are going to be happy about this outcome. Well, we talked about their ability to score goals at the top of the game. And once again, they delivered. For me, they're always looking for the most dangerous pass, which is a great example to teams that keep possession for the sake of it. I think they're a joy to watch at the moment.